Hi, I'm Dan Pastorskov. And I'm Kelly Nielsen. And this is TimeBase, a new smart display system meant to improve competitor experience, make data entry quicker and more reliable, and get rid of the need for scorecards as a whole. Today, we're going to do a quick little demo video and show you how our system works. Instead of normal competitions where a competitor will walk up to the competitor waiting area and look for their name on a scorecard, with TimeBase, the competitor finds an empty cube cover and puts both their cube and their name tag inside the cube cover. Once the cubes have been dropped off, just like a normal competition, the runner will run the cube to the scrambling station. At this point, the scrambler will take the name tag out of the cover and tag it to the NFC reader on the computer. At this point, the computer will only show the scramble that the competitor is supposed to receive. No other scrambles will be shown. Once the puzzle is scrambled, the scrambler will then tag their own NFC tag to the NFC reader as a scramble signature. Once the scramble signature is applied, the runner can take the cover with the cube and the name tag to an open solving station. If you do decide to run your competition stationary, we encourage the use of numbered cube covers to indicate which station to bring the cube to. Once a cube has been run over to a station, a judge can call out a competitor's name and tag their lanyard to the top of the time-based display. Once the competitor is ready to solve, the judge can push an inspection button on the back of the display and lift the cover, and a timer starts going up to 15 seconds, at which point a judge can still call 8 and 12 by looking at the back of the display. Once the competitor has finished inspection and they take their hands off the timer to start the solve, inspection automatically stops. From there, the timer can also apply inspection penalties after the fact. If there's any penalties after the solve, the judge can add those using buttons on the back of the display. So in this case, we have a plus two, in which case the judge can push the plus two button on the back where it'll visibly show that the time has two seconds on top of it. On the back of the display, it'll still say the original time plus two. If there's any penalties above plus two, the judge can push the button more times to add two seconds each time, eventually cycling over at 16 seconds. In the case of a DNF, a judge can push the DNF button on the back, in which case it'll show a DNF on the front and back of a display. Once both the judge and competitor have confirmed the time on the back of the display, the judge can then push the OK button, acting as a judge signature, and then the competitor must scan their tag on top of the display to confirm as a uh, competitor signature. From there, there's a prompt on the back to reset the timer, and once that's done, the next solve can continue at that station. If an incident occurs, the judge can push the delegate button on the back of the display to send a notification to the delegate smartphone. From there, the delegate can manage the incident through their app. The app allows the delegate to pre-select a number of common incidents, as well as enter a custom incident. The delegate has full control on whether the original time or the extra time is what is displayed in the results. If an extra is given, the scrambler will see the extra as the next solve to be given, instead of the next numeric solve. The delegate app also allows penalties to be added or removed if they were incorrectly applied, as well as modifying the time if there was an error with the time. They could also administer extras through the app without the use of a delegate button. And that's pretty much the flow of a solve using our time-based system. Along with that, there's a couple of other cool quirks and features that a system like this can provide for a competition. For one, you can have real-time data entry. As soon as a solve is okayed and signed for by a competitor, it instantly gets uploaded to a database. Another cool thing is that if the timer accidentally resets itself, the display will still show the time that was displayed last. Meaning if the timer comes unplugged, it turns off, or accidentally resets, the time will still stay on the display. Also, as far as scrambling goes, because you're only shown the one scramble that you need, you will never get any duplicate scrambles again. On top of that, you can never encounter a missing signature again. The system will not progress through a solve without certain signatures, so you'll never have a DNF because a judge didn't sign or you didn't sign. And that's more or less time-based. Keep in mind, this is a very rough prototype. This is the first version. All future versions will be much better and look different, have maybe a couple of different features here and there, but overall, that's the system. We plan on using this at many competitions in the future around the world, and we hope to make it more widely accessible as soon as we can. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for future updates.